Hi, I'm Erica Gamma with InDesign Secrets. And in this video, I want to show you one of InDesign's built-in scripts. If you aren't using scripts, you really should do yourself a favor and at least check them out. They save a ton of time and they automate a lot of those tedious or time-consuming tasks that we do in InDesign. The script I want to show you is super simple. It basically just creates crop marks for you. Obviously, if you need crop marks around your entire page, you can just generate those when you're printing or creating a PDF. But sometimes you want crops around specific items on the page, and that's where this script comes in. The first thing we're going to do is open up the scripts panel. And if it's not visible, just go up to the window menu and choose utilities, scripts. Now here in this flyer, I want to reuse some of the elements in some other places. For instance, let's just grab this $2 off coupon down here at the bottom. I'll select the items that I want to reuse. And in this case, I'm just going to copy and paste those items into a new clean document. Now in the scripts panel, which I'm just going to pull off and move up a little bit, I need to find the built-in scripts. There are two folders in this panel, application and user, and you need to go to the folder where you've installed InDesign. For instance, I've installed it on my main applications folder so that it's accessible by all users on the computer. So I'll open up the application folder, and in there I want to navigate down to the samples folder. This is where the built-in scripts are. And I'll go ahead and open the JavaScript folder, and then I'll just scroll down to the crop marks script. Now with the elements still selected over here on the page, I just double click the script. And that brings up the dialog box. And there are a couple options inside this dialog box, crop marks and registration marks being the two main ones. I'm not going to do any registration marks. We're just going to stick with crop marks. And I'm just going to change the default a little bit. I want the length of my crop marks to be 12 points, and I want them to be offset from the item itself by six points. Normally, a quarter of a point is a great stroke weight for crop marks, but just so we can see it a little bit better, I'm going to give it a half a point. Down here at the bottom, it asks if we want crop marks around each object or the entire selection. And in this case, they kind of go together. I'm going to make a new coupon, sort of a standalone item. I want to go ahead and put it around the entire selection. I'll just say OK. And now if I zoom in, I can see that we have crop marks around that entire selection. Now, going back to that same flyer on the next page, I'm going to select this image right here in the middle. Maybe we want to make custom stickers or icons, all the different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that out, go to a new blank document, paste that in. Now I'm using a new document. We can definitely do this in the same document. It just for clarity's sake, I, I'm putting it into a separate document. I'm just going to move this item up. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. I'm going to option drag it and make it a little bit bigger and option drag again and make it a little bit bigger still. Then I'll just distribute those items so there's a little bit of breathing room between each of them. Then I'm going to select all three items, go back to that script, double click on it, turn off registration marks, and it doesn't save the information we used last time, which is too bad, it would be great. But in this case, I'm going to make them, I'll keep them short, still want a little bit more offset, and we want to make them a little thicker so we can see them. But this time, I'm going to tell it to draw crop marks around each object individually. So I'll say OK to that. And now we have each item with their own set of crop marks. So that's just one of the scripts that comes built in with InDesign. Feel free to check out the other ones that are in there. They do a lot of great things. And like I said, they're already built in. They come with the application, and they're there ready for you to use. Well, I hope you liked this tip. For thousands more InDesign articles and tutorials, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com. There you can sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.